Are you worried about consequences, you little exactly. face man? If you this person just came into the bar and said, Hey, what are your pronouns? You kind of look like a they, them. And... <laughs> um, I hated that they were right. What do you want? What do you want? Say wrong pronoun bad. Say correct pronoun bad. What? What do you want? You, you come for baby. Stop talking! Baby, I do not care if you call me he, him, she, her, it, they, but, if, what, and whatever the case may be. As long as you're calling me, period. Personally, when I refer to myself, I use I and me, but that's just me. Most of the people I interact with call me he or him, but it's up to you. I don't care. Finally, we have to ask ourselves, who's right? Who is correct in this situation? Uh, so we, we ought to take a look at this clip. It's a wild clip. Excuse me, what are you doing in the women's bathroom? I'm sorry? What are you doing in the women's bathroom? I'm peeing. Okay, but you're a man. Yes, you are. You are clearly a man, and you were just in the women's bathroom. Do you know how much money I paid for this school, and now there's a man in my bathroom? Well, you should talk to the administration. Oh, I definitely will. Good. But why do you feel the need to go into women's spaces as a man? No comment on that? Do you think women don't deserve their own private spaces? Nothing? Really? Do you support women's rights? No? Okay, so there's just a man in our bathroom. That's, that's wonderful. So that the, the University of Tampa allows this. We also have drag queens as well. Okay, so that, yeah, we'll try to stay as impartial as I possibly can here, but uh, let's be honest. Let's be real here. They, uh, yeah, this person walks out of the bathroom, clearly, you know, out of college here. Uh, this is a, uh, yeah. Um, And they were clearly in the bathroom, and the way they're dressed, the way they're dressed is uh, is wild. Male, female, whatever, put some damn clothes on. I mean, seriously, come on, what are you doing? Going out public looking like that? It's embarrassing. That's that's too much. It's way too much. And obviously, it's you know, it's um, an uncomfortable situation. Like I said, you want to try to stay impartial, but I want to know, what do you guys think? Is this something that is okay? Who is right here? Do you side with the um, this this man, you know, going into the women's bathroom, or do you side with this, um, this female college student? I myself would have to ask, would I be okay with, uh, with, with one of my daughters going to the bathroom with this person? I don't know, and this is a, um, yeah, so it's a very, uh, very interesting, uh, for sure, very interesting situation that is somehow controversial now. My fatness doesn't devalue me. Why? So I'm an A. Why doesn't it? I have been pursued by many men who think I am gorgeous and beautiful. That perception exists whether you have it or not. Well, and guess what? I'll never be the, the only one who thinks I'm hot and I know that bugs the yeah, yeah, shit yeah, yeah. out of if you. You're, if I have the value judgment of hundreds of millions of people <laughs> to mean? compare the standard to and I know that I'm below that threshold and just decide that I'm above that threshold anyway, I'm not the only that's person not based on that anything decision. objective. You're just making shit up. No, really? I'm, I must In every shit country on planet Earth, Respectfully, she's not an eight. Wait, Be Respect you're ridiculous. So what would Jesus do? He'd he be like, You're a ten, sweetheart. Turn the Forget objective he reality. If I turn the other cheek, if I believed in he would, turn the he other would cheek. love me as one of God's children, yes. he would have known that yes. it's my journey and my yes. life. But you know you're fat the too. What an idiot. Girl, calm your sassy butt down. Jeez. Listen, I think we all know why you're not the most attractive woman in the world. Hey, you know what? That's fine. Some men are into that. <laughs> I mean, you're very defensive about it, but that's cool. That's all right. Uh, yeah, but I don't think, I don't think you're like quite what you think you are. I mean, obviously not. I mean, men are not lining up to marry you. That's clear. 
and they <laughs> the men that are into you are probably like most women into you for one one type of thing and they just have to be into uh women that are like you which is fine let's get everyone to rate their looks on a scale of one to ten go ahead i think i'm a 12. what yeah like seven and a half eight i'm a seven eight eight seven huh? and a half eight okay so you're the only you're a 12. yeah i love your confidence Thank is you. it confidence or delusion um it's definitely confidence i think mm. i think that Probably. i am the most prettiest girl in the world you're, <laughs> you're 25 right yeah do you think you'll be more attractive in 10 years than you are now yeah do you think you'll be more attractive in 20 years yeah 30 years yeah okay now you're just no I, i'm a magic person so you'll be right 55. And I'm, <laughs> yeah okay. like a manifestation bag yep. or whatever you want to call it i feel like i've been manifesting that i just keep getting hotter and so whenever i look at myself i just feel like i'm getting hotter. What about when you're 75 in 50 years be honest probably just the same honestly bro you're delusional a 12 <laughs> a negative 12 maybe you look insane first of all you look insane you clearly are insane. There's no way in the world you actually believe that on a scale of one to 10, you are above that scale. 10 being basically, I mean, it'd be perfect, right? 10 would be perfect. What are you talking about? You are one of the most delusional people I think I have, I have witnessed in quite a while. It is quite shocking, but you know what? It's fine, you keep living that delusion. You think you're the most beautiful girl in the world. Okay, you are you are literally a fetish. I'm sorry, but it's true. Men, this is a this is a red flag. This is what a red flag looks like. Sadly, this is what mental illness looks like. And women that actually will tell you they are a 12, knowing, knowing they are not a 12. Girl, you're not even, I don't know. I don't know, you're very low, maybe like a two or a three. Let's be real here. It's in good faith. Mm. Do you think human beings are generally naturally good or generally not so good? Are we are we are we flawed from our birth or are we good or are we a blank slate? See, you're bringing up these Christian ideas of good again. I don't think we really come to the same synthesis on what a good person is. Okay, I feel like was Hitler good? Um, I feel like again, you're not listening to me. I Pretty feel like we don't question. come to the same synthesis about well, no, what I think good we will, though. is because for me, I think that something like good is again the question of ethics. Wait, you can't answer that question. I mean, ask that to anybody. Literally, anybody will tell you Hitler was not good. And you're really gonna sit here and debate that. You're trying to try to argue that. How delusional are you? Right? So Hitler what? thought what he was doing was good for his people. We do not see his actions as good because he was pretty awful to a lot of people. Well, I'm out, guys. I don't know Mother Teresa like that, just, but can we go back to it? For... I feel like we've gone really off track. No, it's for not, one, actually, I, we're, we're, again, we're, 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 again, you're, you're I talking about the most important hey, thing because. Hey, dude, you're interrupting me again. Well, it, it is kind of our table. So, um, oh, so but, you can interrupt me, but yeah, I can't but, interrupt no, but, you. Hold on. Gotcha. The fact you can't answer this question shows that college is a scam. Because what? if uh, you can't say that Mother Teresa good and Hitler Mother bad, Teresa denied anesthetics to people who are in serious pain because she thought the suffering would bring them closer to God. I think a lot of what she did could be doubt considered. That to be true. Okay, okay, but, but I'll take whatever. It. We can't just reference random things and use that because right now we're talking about ideologies. Again. Yeah, this is a pretty good example of uh, the BS that is coming out of colleges and the way they are program to think this woman does not have an original thought in her head she's repeating things that are i doubt are very i doubt are true i mean i don't know i'm not like researching it but i very much doubt that crap is true about mother Teresa. it may be like some kind of rumor type of thing i can see that for sure it could be a def definitely be some kind of rumor but again it's probably mostly just bullshit that she's heard on college campuses or some cool professor or something told her about it or whatever i don't know it's just probably some bull crap 
are a Christian. So you believe that there's a guy watching you and that's what makes you do good. You're no, like, it's not. if someone's that, that, that watching a, me, I am more likely no. to be nice. But Hold I want to be there, nice because other, I like how other, other people react to me. There's other reasons to do good. I was nice. asking okay. the question that for would you be more or less likely to shoplift if a police officer was next to you in a department store? It's a very simple ethical question. But how does that make me good or not? That just makes it me worried makes about consequences. Good. No, it makes me worried about consequences, you little exactly. faced man. If you do not have consequences. Yeah. But consequences does not determine the, ethics. The, the, the mark means... of an intellectual fool is throwing around pejoratives when they don't have wisdom. Remember that. Stop it. Get some help. Wow, did you see how how <laughs> upset this one person got? Whenever they are challenged on things, they don't have the answers. It's just how it is. That's just reality. I'll see that as just reality. Which is, uh, it's fine, but these, this is the future. This is the future. And they are paying, paying for this sort of education. It's, it's honestly unbelievable. Wake up, Anthony James, time to expose the delusion of world people in a clown world. Please like, comment, and subscribe before the delusional people.